the last ten weeks have been leading up to the result of the Stars in the Rise live grand final. Well done to Dave Tromp on Millionaire. 16 grand in the bag, and I'm guessing he's a Stars fan, because this is Ronan Keating's second home, you know. We'll stick with Dave on Monday. In the meantime, thanks for sticking with us, because things are about to get really tense. And there are no lifelines here, as our next star guest knows very well. Back in June, when I was a mere slip of a boy and anything seemed possible for Gary Mullen, it really was. As Freddie Mercury, he netted the largest ever single vote in any live grand final. Everybody was amazed by his performance, including Queen fans, who are understandably protective of Freddie's memory. In the studio, he won everybody over, and here's the moment he won you over, too. Freddie Mercury scored a grand total of... Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning stars champion, Gary Mullen! <laughs> That was the most astounding win we have ever seen on this programme. I mean, it must have been amazing for you. What's happened to you since? Been very busy. Gave up the, the day job. You gave up the day, gave job. Up the day job. You don't yeah. want to be selling computers. Absolutely right. And what are you doing with that talent? What's the next thing coming up? Um, doing a gig in uh, Glasgow. For a the gig Hogman in Glasgow? Yeah. Oh, Hogman, eh? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. In, in front of a few thousand oh. people. And, of course, there's a, <laughs> uh, there's a European final coming. The yep. stars in Euro eyes coming up in the new year. And, of course... I think you'll be representing us on that, won't you? Did I'm well, hoping yep. so. Did well. Congratulations. How does it feel this time? More relaxed, but still scary. <laughs> Good man. Now, pop yourself in the middle there, yep. and I shall give you the big build-up. OK. Last time, he had the magic. This time, he wants to break free. As tonight, singing live once again, Gary Mullen is Freddie Mercury! <laughs>
Oh, I'm still pleased. You won over so many fans, you got so many votes, and you eat. You even won over the fan club, you know that. And the really? fan club have sent this statue. There's a, there is a bronze statue in Switzerland that's, uh, that's a bit of a shrine to Freddy fans, and this is the prototype. The only thing like it in the world, and it's yours. And I have to tell you that Brian May also sent a letter to you. He said, many congratulations, Gary, on a fantastic year. You certainly share with Freddy more than a likeness. All respects to your pursuit of excellence. Sincerely, Brian May. And we wish you... We wish you luck, and we wish Brian and Anita luck as well. You take that letter with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the current Sky champion, Gary Mullen, has Freddie Mercury! <laughs> you still have a few minutes to vote. Only our computer knows who got what, so your call could still make a difference. Before we close the vote, let's open the doors one more time on all ten of tonight's fantastic finalists. This is what Stars in Their Eyes is all about. Vincent Hughes gave us a rocking good start to the show as the doo-wop king Dion. Matthew Shaw was a dead ringer for rock star Meatloaf. Once again, a Celine Dion was back in the final, this time courtesy of Tracy Shield. Two doors, two stars next when Jason Ward and Darren Oldwinkle became Simon and Garfunkel. Tony Hadley, that old romantic, was in the final thanks to Ivan Mornington. Louise Halliday gave Kate Bush a new face, but it was the same distinctive voice. Sergeant Pepper would have been proud of Jeff Greenhouse as Paul McCartney. Audrey O'Connor was as smooth as Bond when she became Gladys Knight. Robert Cairns brought back the glam sound of the 70s as Mark Boland. And finally, Maria Callas lived again in the voice of Nicola Kirsch. Matthew, it's back to you. Thank you, Andre. That was what they did. And now let's find out what you did. And Make Your Mind Up time is now over because if you couldn't decide between all ten and who could blame you, then it's too late because the lines are now closed. Let's pack up for another final, please. Thank you very much. And there they go, the numbers that you called. Now let's find out the numbers they polled. And there they all are backstage. Very soon, one of those ten star finalists will walk back through the doors as a champion. So here are the results of the Stars in the Rise live grand final. OK, stand well back. I am about to light some virtual indoor fireworks. Can I please have my first computer comment and our first result for finalist number one, Dion. There's his comment. He scored 91,363. That's a fantastic start for the evening. But can Nilo beat him? He was finalist number two, and he scored a grand total of 135,821. That means that he takes a very early lead. But finalist number three, Celine Dion, she scored a grand total of 131,672. It's a fantastic score, but it's not enough to beat Meatloaf. Let's see if finalist number four, Simon and Garth on goal, a duo can do it. They scored 103,031, which means that Meatloaf is still in the lead. But finalist number five was Tony Hadley, so he might have enough to do it. Let's see on his comet what he scored. It's a grand total of 65,235. It's not enough. Meatloaf is still in the lead. Finalist number six was Kate Bush. Let's see how many votes you gave her. Can she beat Meatloaf? She got 125,365 votes. These are fantastic scores, but it's not enough to beat Meatloaf. Paul McCartney is finalist number seven. Let's see if he can get Meatloaf. 73,818. It's still Meatloaf. Finalist number eight is Gladys Knight. Let's see if her votes can beat Meatloaf. She scored 78,545. Meatloaf is still in the lead, but can Mark Boland do it? He is finalist number nine. He scored 96,022. So everything rests on the final vote. Can finalist number 10, Maria Callas, beat Meatloaf? She scored a grand total of 475,146. And that means the winner of the Stars of Eyes live grand final is Maria Callas.
That was an extraordinary win. <laughs> and you've got to sing it again. But please tell me, tell me, tell me that you will not go back to cleaning, please. <laughs> Don't do it, and we wish your mother well so as well. I'm, I'm telling you, it's uh, to get on this show, you, you're already a winner, but to get in the final means you've won over the studio audience, but to become a champion means you've won over the audience at home, and that means everything. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stars in the Rise champion, Nicola Kirsch as Maria Callas. <laughs> Join the Stars Hall of Fame. So, we're joining us and the team, all men and the other finalists in the bar afterwards. A big party. We'll be back with the Christmas special. Let's see you again. series, please call us on this number, 0870 400 4000. From all of us on Stars in Their Eyes, good night. Saturday evenings on ITV, sponsored by BT.